everybody, how's it going? My name is Grafana. Welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion Part 5. In the last episode, we are trying to find... We were trying to find Phalion. He's a high elf who we need to kill for the Dark Brotherhood. And we're actually going to kill him, like, right now. So that's bad news for Phalion, but good news for us, because we're going to get rewarded. So Phalion is alone every day for several hours at Lurkmere's house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. I could kill him there to avoid any witnesses. And why we want to? Why do we want to avoid any witnesses? Well, number one, obviously, uh, we don't want people to see me murdering somebody. The guards are going to chase us. Uh, there's a chance of me going to jail, but also because we'll get a bonus. Hello. Oh, we'll see this guy later in the thieves guild. Uh, yeah, but we'll get a bonus, and we want to do that. So this seems to be the perfect spot to do that. Lorkmere's house. It is a hard lock. Um, so we kind of have to wait for nobody to see us, like right there. And let's uh, bear with me as I open this door. Alright, so here we are. We're in Lorkmere's house. Um, there's Phalion. Wow, he's right there. Usually I have to come in here and wait. Uh, so I don't think anyone's in here. I think it's just Phalion. This place is actually uh, like deserted. So hopefully we can just do that. And, uh, Phelan is dead. I killed him in Lorkmere's house, a secure location with no witnesses. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiev and receive my reward and bonus. So, yeah, wow, that was easy. Uh, yeah, usually when I do this, I come in here, he's not in here, and then I have to wait, um, for, you know, like a couple hours, and then he'll appear, and then I can sort of kill him. So, let's see what he has on him. Lorkmere's house key, some gold, and also, he was a skooma addict, so there should be some skooma. Yep, there's some skooma right there. There's like three bottles of it, uh, which is a drug, and you know, I could take it, but I don't want to. Let's take a look into Lorkmere's basement just to see if, you know, anything's going on down here. There shouldn't, right? I mean, it, there shouldn't be. It should just be a, a normal basement, right? Um, well, that's unfortunately not the case. As you can see here, Lorkmere has been stabbed, and uh, yeah, he's dead. There's a, there's the murder weapon right there, I assume, because the dagger is on Lorkmere right there, so I guess this is the murder weapon. And uh, it would seem, also, I think the key opens this. No, it doesn't. Um, you know what? I, I, I think if I open that, it would be stealing. And I don't want to do any stealing unless I have to. And it's just going to be random stuff in there anyways. But yeah, so, you know, that's just a little bonus thing you can do in this quest. You can find out that Phalian actually killed Lorkmere and, like, sort of squ started squatting in his house to do skooma all the time. So let's go turn in this quest and get our bonus. I wonder what the bonus is going to be. There's a lot of good bonuses in the Dark Brotherhood. And I forget which ones go with which quests, but rest assured it's going to be something cool probably. I think we're going to get into a really good quest next, and I'm excited for it. The Achieve, the Achieve quests are like a lot more fun than the, um, than the uh, Vicente quests in my opinion. One thing you gotta realize is the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion is so much longer than the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim. There's like a lot of quests to do. Um, after this we have like, I believe like, let's see. I know there's one person that you have to start getting orders from after Ochiva and I'm forgetting if there's one after that. But that will all be in due time. So let's go find Ochiva right now and turn this quest in and get our bonus. I wish to welcome you to... The High Elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father, Sithis. And there were no witnesses to your handiwork. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. Alright, so we just got the bonus that I've been looking forward to most uh, throughout this Let's Play, and that is going to be the bow called Shadow Hunt. And it's an enchanted bow, turn undead up to level 3, damage health 5 points, damage magic 5 points, weakness to poison 5% on strike. So you can actually put poison on this bow or on the arrows, and when you shoot them with the uh, with the poisoned arrows, the weakness to poison will actually you know compound on that effect and you'll actually do more damage and that's pretty cool isn't it so this is going to be my bow choice for the time being not you know not the best bow in all honesty i think that's just a silver bow model right there i don't think it's actually a unique looking bow um yeah let's also put this on a hot key to the right 
It does have that nice oblivion gl glow when something is enchanted. It's glowing red, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty potent against enemies, which is going to be good. Okay, so let's get another contract. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Yes, of course I accept. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide, but you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Alrighty, so we've been given another contract, um, and we need to kill Roderick, who is held up in a fort called Fort Such. Now what happens is he's got all these guards around him that will administer like a, uh, a potion to him to keep him alive. And what we need to do is is enter that place undetected, replace the po potion with a poison, and uh, yeah, and then we're pretty much done. If we are detected or if we kill him in a different matter, it will fo forfeit the God. I cannot talk right now. It will forfeit the bonus. And as you guys know, we don't want to do that, so we're gonna be doing it super sneakily. I think sneakily is a word that I've sort of made up um, on my channel because I say it a lot and I have to keep reminding myself that's not actually a word. So it looks like the closest we're going to be able to get to this uh, fort such is to the north of Anvil, which is a really cool town. I, Anvil is one of my favorite towns in Oblivion. Um, so yeah, so what I'm probably going to do is just uh, cut here and skip to the part where we arrive at Fort Such and then we'll continue on. Could buy a horse, make things go a little faster, but I think a horse would be... Is that Mike the Liar? Oh boy, it is. Let's get some cu a couple lines of dialogue from this guy. Mike knows much, tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. I have seen dragons. Perhaps you will see a dragon. I won't say where I saw one. Perhaps I did not. I have seen. I, I have seen. Oh, so, okay, so I guess he only says like one line at a time. Let's Mike? see if he talk to him if he'll I, say something. No, okay. So if you guys don't know what who Mike the liar is and what the purpose of him is, is um he is sort of like a a character that's been in all I think, or at least most of the Elder Scrolls games. He's in Skyrim. I know that. He's in uh, Oblivion. I'm pretty sure he's in Morrowind. Uh, in fact, yeah, I think he's definitely in Morrowind. And he basically gives like these little Easter egg lines of like dialogue that usually poke fun at Bethesda and um, and just the game in general and stuff. Like, see, in here, the dragons never existed, or well, they did, but I'm saying they they were never prevalent. Like, they're just legend. Obviously, in Skyrim, the dragons you know come to life and all that. So this was this took place back then, and he says that. So he just says stuff like that. And when you see him, he, he's like it's like sort of a random encounter where you find him. He's usually in like on on the uh, road to to places to like towns and things. And it's just like a sort of a little treat for people that know what the purpose of him is. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the purpose of Mike. And I'm going to flash forward to where we arrive at Fort Such. So I will see you guys there. Bye. Okay guys, that is Fort Such right there in the distance, um, and you know, we have to stay undetected. Now I'm not sure if that means we can kill them as long as we stay undetected. I'm pretty sure that does mean that, but just to play it safe, I'm going to try and just bypass everybody. Um, so that means like moving really slowly in sneak mode. Music just changed, but it doesn't say that I'm noticed. So I don't think it actually gives you like a target to sneak around right off the bat because that would make it, you know, extremely difficult. Is there a door down here? This is weird. Okay. 
old wooden door to fort such so there's going to be like mercenaries in here that are charged with protecting roderick like i said we sort of need to sneak past around them and i, I think it's like like sort of like a cavern I've successfully entered Fort Such. I must now locate Roderick's medicine and replace it with a bottle of poisoned medicine. So there's going to be like a cupboard that we need to find. So right off the bat, there's a guy right there. In fact, yes, I think. Or we can go around here, it looks like. Let's do that. So I guess for people that don't care about the bonus, they can just sort of... Uh-oh. Let's uh, move away from this guy. I guess they can sort of just, uh, you know, go up to him and kill him and just... Who cares and run straight up to Roderick. So Roderick's actually in this room right now. So, yeah, if I remember right, this is like sort of a big room. And uh, we should be seeing some mercenaries like right about know. now. There we go. Is the medicine sustaining Roderick's life or just postponing his death? How can he survive for so long? Okay, so we're going to sneak around. Roger's actually right up there. And, uh, yeah, this is one of those missions that I always think is going to be difficult, but then it never ends up being difficult, and it's actually pretty easy. So I think we can just go up here, and there should be a road, like, leading up to where he is. There might be a couple of mercenaries, maybe not. There's someone in here. It looks like someone with the torches is back there, so we're going to try and avoid it and sneak through here. So, yeah. Okay, looks like we're home free, basically. Um, yeah, there's Roderick. And we don't want to mess with him. We don't want him to be alerted. Um, I guess, I thought the cupboard was next to him, but I guess it's back here in this room. Ah, uh, yes, there's the cupboard. So, let's open this. Let's take that. And then let's go into our inventory. I guess it would be in... I think this is the poet. Yeah, I think this is the poison. So we're going to press A on that. Does that does that do it? Is that not the poison? Let's take that back then. I, I, don't know, I guess that wasn't the poison. Um. Is it like in miscellaneous, or was that? There it is. Oh, okay, so it is. It is a miscellaneous. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna press A, which put that in there. Roderick's poison. The bottle of poison medicine has been placed in the cabinet and the real medicine removed. The next time Roderick is given treatment, he will die. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiva to receive my reward. So we're good now. Now we just need to exit without being detected. I think we can just sort of sneak right past uh, Roderick. Um, I'm actually gonna save here just in case I get noticed. Which will forfeit the bonus. Let's see. Hopefully he is sleeping enough that he will not notice us. We can jump down here. Yep. So far so good. And I think mo the majority of the, uh, the mercenaries are downstairs. Oh, there's a guy over there. So let's just go back the way that we came in. Why don't we? Oh, I heard a door open. Um, I believe this was the way. I usually like closing the doors behind me. Just in, I don't think it serves any purpose, honestly, but it's just fun to do. Okay. And that's all she wrote. No one saw us. So that was fairly easy. I always think that's going to be challenging, but it's never really challenging at all. Now we can just fast travel back to the uh, Shaden Hall Sanctuary, get our reward and bonus. I've been noticing the rewards are actually really small. Like, I think the last one was 50 gold. 50 gold is nothing. That's like, I forget how much a horse is, but I think it's like 1,000 gold. So, I don't know. This is weird. I think we get the bigger bucks once we uh, start getting the dead drop orders, which we should be getting fairly soon. Let's just all take a moment and realize how good the music is in this game. It, it's so atmospheric, and I don't know if you guys can hear it well, um, given the game volume, but that's one of the things I absolutely love about this game. The music is just so well done. Like this creepy sanctuary music right now, but then the music that was outside. Alright, Ochiva. Ah, 
So you infiltrated Fort Such, remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now, rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. Okay, so if I remember right, because of the bonus we just got, let's take a look at look at it. It's the uh, Deceiver's Finery right here. It's sort of like a, just a, like a rich looking shirt thing that when you have it equipped, it fortifies personality three points, fortifies speechcraft three points. So it's basically like a nice little boost to our speech and personality. Um, and I think this signifies that the next quest we're going to be doing is one of my favorite in the entire game. So let's see if that's what we're going to be doing. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Ah, yes, indeed it is. And the reason why getting the Deceiver's Finery always notifies me that I'm going to be doing this is because you can wear the Deceiver's Finery to this place to sort of give you like a little edge. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this really, really, really fun quest. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Yes, I am ready. Tell me more. Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Okay, so this is definitely one of the best quests in the game. Like I said, this, there's just so many things you can do, and there's so many facets to this quest. It's, it's, it's just awesome. Um, so just to recap, what we need to do is travel to Skingrad where we will enter a party, um, the door will lock behind us, and we need to kill all the guests. Now we can do it really stealthily. <laughs> See, there we go again, stealthily. Or sneakily, sneakily and stealthily. We can do it one of those ways, uh, which will give us a bonus, or you can just go, you know, guns blazing and kill everybody. Because the doors are locked, no one will be able to escape, there will be a bloodbath. Um, but we are an assassin after all, we're in the Dark Brotherhood, and I want to get the bonus, so we're going to be doing it the sneaky way and there's a lot of cool things that you can do like you can talk to people and get them to like follow you into secluded locations because there are multiple parts of the house you can if your sneaks high enough which is what i usually do you can literally just like sneak up behind everybody and put an arrow in their back and uh, no one's going to notice even if you're in the same room with everybody um one thing i always wished that they did with this quest is actually put a chest of gold in there so you could find it I, like, I really wish that happened. It would have just been fun to, like, try and find it yourself. Um, I guess it wouldn't make sense, though. So, this is the doorman. the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. I always thought this guy was really funny. I saw Uga grow. Okay. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people, and then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> this guy's so ruthless. All right, so let's go in there and mingle with everybody. We're going to equip our Deceiver's Finery just so we can... Uh, you know what? No, we don't even need the Deceiver's Finery. We can uh, tackle this in a lot of different ways. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit, 
The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devisi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so you can say like a whole bunch of stuff, and I believe nothing will actually alert them, so... Why don't we just go, I'm an assassin hired to kill you. <laughs> You're a funny one. Good, I'm glad one of us has a sense of humor about all this. It'll make our time here that much more enjoyable. <laughs> oh boy, but you do not know the half of it. Okay, so... We can like talk to each one of these people and sort of get a sense Maybe for how annoying they are, which is supposed to make us, you know, like, want to kill them. Um, and I believe they'll split up eventually. We got three right here. And we can go down to the basement. Hello? It says they're all in here, though. I guess it's just saying that... I don't know. So we can just, like, take this guy out right now, honestly. Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Crap, can you not sheath your bow after you equip it in Oblivion? I guess you can't. Um, okay. If you find the gold, what will you spend it on? Let me guess. A sleazy whore. And a nice new battle axe, am I right? Okay, so we gotta sort of wait until like they're they're isolated from everybody else. Um, let's get over here. Come on, they keep like walking towards each other. Let's go, boom, and boom. You can call me a barbarian. Now, if we talk to her, trying to figure out who our host might be. With two people dead, it almost seems like he set this party up just to kill us all. No, no, no. There's no way. Stay safe. So we can keep talking to this woman as we can. I should have talked to her after I killed the first person. Uh, she, she has like a different line of dialogue as you kill more and more people. And uh, she gets she needs to leave this place though. <laughs> Let's see if talking to them will split them up. Two people dead. If anyone else drops, I swear I'm going to gather every drop of alcohol in this house and drink myself into a stupor. Okay, so they all say different things depending on how many people you kill. Um, so you can pick like sort of one person to stay alive till the end, and it's pretty funny what their uh, their dialogue is. Two of us have been murdered. It's too dangerous one of us to go kill. This house. Okay, can you guys like split up, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's good. I think I'm gonna keep uh, Matilda. I think is her name for last. So let's take a hit. Huh? Let's hit on uh, Nels the Naughty or whatever his name. How am I detected right now? Let's just fling an arrow. Boom. Oh no, you guys! Nels the Naughty's dead! Who killed him? What's going on here? This is craziness, isn't it? So they, they both seem to have went upstairs. So let's go this ahead and follow them. One one. I know, right? It's crazy! <gasps> oh, thank goodness it's you, sweetie. Please don't wander too far away. I feel safe with you. <laughs> she feels safe with me. Um, so, like, if we inquire, inquire about people, she'll sort of go over, like, how they were, I think. So, Nels is dead. I don't condone murder, of course, but I can't say he'll be missed. As a rule, I find Nords rather... vulgar. Wow, racist much. Yeah, so all these people have bad qualities. We need to keep our eyes on each other. I know, I know. I just gotta take care of something before. Oh, this guy equipped. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, this guy actually equips armor if you give him long enough, and then he's harder to kill. Um, hopefully, he'll still die with one arrow, though. Stop looking at me, buddy. <laughs> well, that was funny, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. But we're not alone in this house. That killer is in here with us, hiding. But where? Yeah, so she actually doesn't even believe that we're the killer still, so let's talk to her. We've got to get out of here. You understand me? We're the only ones left. We need to find a way out of this house. Come on! Okay, I'm more than down to do that, but there's just one thing I gotta take care of first. Oh, did you really go downstairs? Okay. Wow, that arrow made a loud noise. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. He actually put some um, armor on if you let him go up here and, like, loot the chest. So you might want to, you know, if you guys are doing this, you might want to kill him before he's able to do that. Okay, so we have one last person. I don't think it matters if we kill her in sneak or not, but just in case. All the guests are dead, and now and no one knew I was the killer. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiva to receive my reward and bonus. You know, thinking back on it, it doesn't really matter if anyone knew I was the killer, does it? I mean, we're locked. 
that bonus really doesn't make sense. Let's just loot all of the bodies in case they have unique things. I don't really think they do. Um, and I think I killed the dark elf woman in the library. Okay! All the house guests are dead. Unfortunately, their bodies are strewn across the manor. And our job is done, folks. Let's go back and get our reward and bonus and move right along in the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, I really wish I could have gone through all of the dialogue options that you can do in that quest. I mean, you gotta think. If there's five people. Each one has a different piece of dialogue for each and every um, person that gets killed. And also, every time someone gets killed, they'll, they'll say something different about that person. So that's like a lot of lines of dialogue that Bethesda... Um, recorded for this and it really it's really cool and usually I do go through all the dialogue just to see what I, they have to say but that would have taken forever in this let's play so if you're doing this for yourself you know definitely check that out I'm trying to think of what the bonus is gonna be for this one we got the shadow hunt we got suffer thorn we got scales of pitiless justice and the deceivers finery get my way bones I got a quest to turn in Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, ah, you yes. acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenants. Okay, so this is actually a really, really, really cool bonus. Um, it's nothing physical, but if we go to active effects there should be a night mother's blessing is it not on here where is it huh does it not say I know it says it somewhere huh weird I don't know if it if it's not saying it here anyways it's it's a it's a like a permanent blessing that gives us a bonus to like all these different skills if you guys were noticing in the top left um, Oh, there it is. It says it doesn't actually have the thing, but it says why we're getting these things fortified. So, let's see. It puts up Fortify Marksman 2, Fortify Security 2, Fortify Sneak 2, Fortify Acrobatics 2, Fortify Blade 2, and that's it. So, we get a nice little 2 bonus to all that stuff. And we've also leveled up, so let's go ahead and sleep and activate that level up bonus. You have ascended to level 3, you realize that you are catching on to the secret of success, it's just a matter of concentration. Okay, let's put agility and speed up, and also 40, 45, 30, 40, 50, 60, well, let's put luck up. And that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little wrap up there. Uh, in the next episode, we'll continue on right along in the Dark Brotherhood. And, uh, you know, we're getting pretty close to the big stuff now. And then we'll finish that and move on to other things. So thanks for watching. My name's Grovana, and have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.